guys, here we are for today's lab, biomagnification. Biomagnification, also sometimes called bioaccumulation. What we're gonna look at is how a particular poison can make its way up the food chain. It accumulates the higher up the food chain we get. It's a phenomenon known as biomagnification or bioaccumulation. Now, pesticides. We're gonna simulate DDT. It's a very persistent pesticide, sticks around in the environment for a long time, so it's a good one to study. And we've seen the results of it in many, many different field tests. So a farmer, a golf course, whoever sprays DDT to kill off the bugs. Well, they spray it on the plants, it rains, some of it goes off into the water, makes its way into an aquatic ecosystem. And we want to simulate what may happen in a situation where DDT is present in a aquatic ecosystem. Now you need some things in order to run this lab. I'm only gonna get you started on this lab. I'm gonna do one trial. You have got to run it yourself. Now, I've got everything set up nice and neat. You don't have to have it perfect. You need nine cups. These are representing our minnows. Now, you don't have to print it out, cut out, and put the little minnows, but you need nine small containers representing your minnows. I need three medium-sized containers, some other kind of container to represent my sunfish, and I need a large container to represent my osprey the top end of my food chain. Now this is my shaker cup. This has my algae in it. Now algae are our producers, right? This is the bottom end of the food chain. Well, the DDT gets sprayed, it runs off, it gets into the stream, and the DDT clings onto some of my producers. And the producers are gonna get eat by a, eaten by a primary consumer. The secondary consumer will consume some of the primary consumers and my tertiary consumer will eat a couple of my secondary consumers. Classic situation we find in a food chain. We're gonna simulate it. You have got to have like some M&Ms. Now I have 20 red M&Ms and then I have 10 blue M&Ms. You don't have to have red and blue, it doesn't even have to be M and M's, but you need 20 of one color, 10 of another. Could be Skittles, could be uh, like Lucky Charm marshmallows, I don't know, whatever you have at your house that you can get of the same kind of size and weight, etc., but different colors. Set all that up. You don't have to print everything, but just have your containers. What I need to do is I need to simulate feeding them. So, I'm going to wind up feeding my algae into the different systems. Now, a few things I can do kind of right off the bat is, ah, right here, I wanna cover this up because I got started earlier and messed up. I can write 10 over 30 up here for algae because in that top column, algae is always gonna be 10 DDT per 30. 20 and 10 makes the 30. So it's a total of 30 pieces of algae but 10 of them have been tainted with DDT. So right off the bat, at the top, for my trials for algae, I could go ahead and fill it in, because it's gonna be 10 over 30 every time. Total of 30, so one third of my population of algae has been tainted with DDT. Now, I'm gonna feed my fish. The minnows come by and eat. So I want to randomly put three M&Ms in each cup then I'm just gonna let the first ones that come out do it. So one, two, three. 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 And one, two, three. All right, so that winds up leaving three M&Ms in my cup, if you will. Now, I wanna feed my sunfish. Each sunfish is going to eat two of the minnows. So I will come out here and I will pick. So one, two, one, 
So now my sunfish have eaten. Now, I forgot to go back. I should have noted down what I wrote down before. When I fed these, now what I have left, if you can kind of see, I only had three red ones. So, I record 10 over 27 because I still have 10 DDTs. When I count all of my things, 10 were two DDT, over a total of 27 total algae. So I write down 10 over 27. I had a total of 27 in my minnows that they were eating, but 10 of them still happen to be DDT. Now, by random chance, it may have been nine over 27 or even eight. You know, if all three left in here happened to be DDT, I wouldn't have had as high a concentration. But I'm doing it randomly in my first trial. I wound up with 10 over 27, so that's what I recorded. Now, I want to record what is in my sunfish. So I go back and I look at my sunfish and I count. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine total uh, in here out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 10, 14, 15, 16, 18, 18. Nine over 18, and I record. That's just what I happen to get. So obviously here I know I have 50% has gone into it. Now these are gonna eat two. So I will randomly fit, put two in, one, two. And now I count. And when I look in here, I've got one, two, well I can put them out here so we can count if you will. I've got one, two, three, four, five of my red, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five and seven have a total of 12, right? But I have five over 12. This is my first trial. What I want to do is actually come out here and figure out what my percentage is. So it's going to be 0.33 for the first one. 10 over 27 comes out to be 0.37. 9 over 18 comes out to be 0.44. And 5 over 12. Uh, oh, no, actually I have that wrong. It's 7 over 12. 7 over 12, I'm going to be something right over 50%. Honestly, 7 over 12, top of my, if it was 6 over 12, it would be 50. So, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to put 0.59. I'm not, didn't do the math. I have to check my math. So, I can see in my first trial that the percentage of DDT in the organisms has gone up. This is what you're going to do. Now, that's trial one. I got to do three trials and get an average. By sheer random chance, I just may have wound up with more in the first time than the other. So I'm going to dump everything back into here. So I'm back to my 10 over 30. I'm going to dump it again. I'm going to record it again. And I do it three times. After three trials, you get your averages. And what we're really after is this percentage over here so I can get my 10 over whatever and I'm after my percentage. This is what we're after to find out what happened. Now by sheer random chance, yours might get higher, yours might get lower. It all depends. But that's why we need to run three trials to get a better idea of what's happening. After you run the experiment, you'll have enough information to answer the questions. So, Get after it, take care of business, have fun with your bioaccumulation, and we'll see what happens. Take care, and I'll see you next time.